Good morning, Wes. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, y'all. It's a <laughs> snowy day. Marvin's back here getting the snow out of the back of the trailer. We get to play in the snow today. Um, we're going to knock this job out. It's up here in uh, the upper part of our community. So if we don't do it today, we probably won't be able to get to it till the spring time because uh, the snow piles up back here pretty quick. So, and we got a storm coming tomorrow. So this is what we're doing today, trying to knock these trees out. I'll show you guys what we got real quick. Uh, we're gonna do this cedar here. We're doing that cedar. Um, the cedar's starting to grow towards the house and uh, with a thick canopy like that, the snow load could definitely cause it to uproot. So we wanted to get to that. Uh, we wanted to address it before the snow gets too bad. And then we got this fur coming out. Uh, it's a pretty easy job, full cleanup. We're getting everything out of here, uh, wood and everything. Uh, not much obstacles. We got this spigot, we got a mist. The septic tank is right there and we got a sidewalk. So um, pretty straight up and down frozen pond. It's gonna be fun. We get to play in the snow. Um, it's gonna be a good day. God is good. We're grateful to be working. A lot of tree companies aren't working right now. So we're super grateful for the work. Got the arsenal warming up. I'm just gonna go up and set her up real quick and pop the top off this. Hey, there's quite a bit of back weight on it. Maybe let's set a porter wrap back here somewhere on that tree or something. Yeah, that maybe that fur yeah that way we get a little bit of a yeah because the snow load too is going to be kind of heavy got to watch out for the snow load it could be deceiving it could definitely add a lot of extra weight to the tree so you guys are doing tree jobs in the snow it's definitely something to watch out for Ooh, it's cold. Oh, snow in the face.
double sided lanyard again, just bypassing the limbs on the way up. And yeah, if I was on a double, I could do the same thing, but I climb on a single rope, so it's kind of necessary for me. It's cold. My hands are cold for sure. But well, bills don't take snow days or sick days. So for the guys who really don't like single rope, I'm gonna go ahead and show a little trick here. How you could switch to double really fast. if you needed to. And some people might say, oh, you can't do that on a quickie, but I'm going to, so watch me. So this way I don't gotta run my tail to the ground, because I'm going to I'm going to blow a top. So there we go. I'll find butterflies in there. So that way I could just go right on down to where. So look, now I'm on double rope. Just like that. Boom. You know, I climb on 11 mil rope, an 11 mil rope, and um, it might be a little slippery, but just keep your hand on the knot and. I tie my knot slipper anyways. I'm ready for the rope. Yeah, so look, double rope now. And then if I wanna switch back to single, I just take this off, clip that back on. Okay. Rope set. Same thing, before I take my lanyard off, I'm gonna go ahead and sit back in my system, make sure everything's working good, and I'm on. So now I'm on a double rope system. Before I come down, I'll do a little bit of rope management here. Rope management is always good. You don't want a limb to come down. And uh, yeah, I'm a little bit twisted up, but I'll be all right. Boom. Now we're all nice and neat. We're on our double rope. Let's see where a good spot to take the top would be. And this is looking like a good spot. And I'm gonna cut this one off to give me a little bit of space. So 
look, I got a clear spot to take a top here. I'm gonna clean this one off because I don't want it to come over and smack me in the face as the top goes over. It's just keeping your work area clean. Might as well get this one too. Uh, nobody wants to get hit in the face with a limb. It'll bust you wide open. Bam, I got a clean work area. That's awesome. side of this tree because I came up the front side of it where the top's gonna go I don't want everything to land on it these are the times when a hundred foot rope would kind of come in handy double rope worked out so now that I came down on double rope, I'll have enough rope to set up single. I won't have to wrestle my tail down. I'll show you guys. Let's get this back on there so I don't forget. Beautiful day. Face cut. the top off of that for the sake of not stripping down my gear I'm just gonna go ahead and go up this one and start stripping off these limbs um, while we got the guys loading these up and then uh, we'll just carry on we're cruising guys good Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I got down my neck. <laughs> We got everything stripped off of this, top this, trailer almost loaded. We probably could fit the rest of this brush in there. And uh, we're gonna fall the stick out this way. I wanna show you guys what I made. A little shorty, I don't know, I wanna try it. It was a messed up wedge, so instead of throwing it away, I grinded it down and recycled it. So we're gonna put this bad boy on the ground. Y'all let know you named it Fatty Too Fat Fat. <laughs> Oh, we're not gonna get the hot tub. <laughs> Go ahead. What happened? He said, "Don't get the hot tub." <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Are we on, Wes? Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna fall this fur out this way. Originally, I thought I was gonna have to climb it, but uh, once the other trees are gone, um, we realized we had enough space to go that way. 
and we left these logs right here um, it's a bit of a dampener to keep it up off the ground this is I'm about to get the 500. Yeah, 